The following is a test of the 90.7 WKKL Emergency Good Music Broadcast System. Hit it. 90.7 WKKL. Hit Pod's only non-commercial alternative music station. Because if there's no good music on, then it is an emergency. This is your friend Frosty, taking over the airwaves and your sanity, at least just the airwaves. On 90.7 WKKL Responsible, thank you for joining me. Now just surrender your control on the stereo for the next hour and no one gets hurt. Dimly veiled threats aside, we're back for another hour, another episode, another time together. It's the Frosty Show and we're happy as can be. The Halloween season is in full swing here at WKKL as we prepare for the WKKL Halloween Bash on the 23rd of October. A costume contest, a dance party, right here on the campus at 6, but there's so much more than that. There's bats to capture, corn to be candied, scarecrows to erect, spiderwebs to spin. Speaking of spinning, I'm spinning an hour of tunes just for you. We kicked it off with Joe Cocker covering Come Together by the Beatles and Rogue Trader with Voodoo Child. Up ahead, keep the ears open for One Republic, Lindsay Sterling, A Cityscape, and First on Deck, James Morris with Catch Fire off his self-titled album. Ready, steady, let's go on 90.7 WKKL. When the music ends, the madness begins. <laughs> anyway, hi, this is your friend Frosty on 90.7 WKKL. Glad to have you on board. Don't change the channel. I have something important to tell you, something really important. Question is, what is it? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, you want to know now? Sure, fine, I can cough it up. Okay, so here we go. On Monday, we officially added four, count them, one, two, three, four new DJs and shows to our roster. Four in one day, that's something, people. WKKL is now the home of DJ Squid, with his rather unique mix of indie and metal. Metalcore, a show for those who want to rock out and mega loud. Sammy P, the man who turns an hour of nothing into an hour of fun. And Danny Blaze, a man with an eye on sports headlines and an ear for the amazing. Do me a favor, keep your ear to the airwaves and welcome them all to the station with applause and all that jazz, starting at 10 a.m. on Monday. I feel so proud. All right, enough of that. Let's uh, let's turn the beat up here on 90.7 WKKL. You're listening to 90.7 WKKL. Glad to have you along for the ride. This is your friend Frosty. All right, so as some of you may know, I work for UPS as a preloader. That means I'm one of those people who shows up at the wee hours of the morning, the time when the rest of you are, you know, staggering home from the after hours pub and pizza parlor, and the other half of you are already fast asleep in bed, dreaming your dreamy dreams without a care in the world. Me, I'm being jerked out of a sound sleep by my alarm, forcing myself to get dressed, and then schlepping over to the warehouse where I dodge heavy packages, lift boxes all morning, dump bags, and endure the ridicule, ridicule of my co-workers. As such, I'm usually in bed by about, what, seven these days, and I haven't seen a single television show all season at the time it would normally air, and thanks to putting in a lot of extra hours here at the station, I haven't had a lot of time to sit down and watch the many hours of fall television I normally would. So far, I have no idea what is happening basically everywhere. I don't know if Jim Gordon is still attempting to repair his failed marriage with that crazy bat on Gotham, or if Bruce Wayne has put on his super superhero tights yet and has decided to fight crime. Maybe we'll have to wait a few years for that. I don't know what's going on with Rick Castle and Captain Beckett since he was tortured with a bag of poisonous spiders. Also, when did Alexis become so sussy? I'm assuming people have died on that new Scream Queens show, but how many? Are Amy and Jake still together, and what will become of Captain Holt now that he's not in charge of Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Is Family Guy any good this season? Is The Simpsons? What's with those people drilling for oil? And are the Muppets still funny? Is Olivia Benson still catching criminals? Are there still cops in Chicago? 
Did Gibbs, the main character of a long-running television show, live after being brutally shot at point-blank range in the season finale last year? You know, I'm just gonna assume that he was. Is Grimm back on the air yet? Can Lady Gaga act? Are there still zombies marching across the earth? Can someone fill me in, please? Too much to see, too much to catch up on. I have no time for this, but there's a three-day weekend in sight. Things are looking up. So, with that in mind, let's get back to the music. I have something for you you may not be ready for, but I'm gonna play it anyway. This is The Sagas on 90.7 WKKL. This is your friend Frosty on 90.7 WKKL with shocking news, shocking and a little unpleasant, so buckle up. Okay, according to an article on Rockfeed, Lincoln Park, POD, Limp Bizkit, Corn, and Disturbed are now being classified as old people music and are actually being referred to as new classic metal, and you can hear them on classic rock stations. Prepare yourself to feel old for a second, people. Linkin Park's debut Hybrid Theory album was released 15 years ago. 15! Hybrid Theory and the subsequent album Meteora got me through quite a lot of few, maybe, maybe a lot more than a few, hard times back in high school. And trust me when I say I've never not once looked back on those albums that just said to myself, oh boy, I'm listening to classic rock. To me, they will always never be classic rock. They will never be old and in celebration of the fact that I and they will not grow old with grace, a special double treat for you. Some classic Linkin Park and some new. New were, anyway. First, numb. Second, leave out all the rest. Don't you feel special? You should. A treat for my listeners on 90.7 WKKL. You guys deserve it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go and cry about time. Now. Welcome back to 90.7 WKKL. This is your friend Frosty welcoming you back to the present day and age. Thank you for playing, but we've got to get going. Sorry, that's the way it goes. Anyway, I have mentioned that there's this big upcoming Halloween shindig right here at Cape Cod Community College, presented by WKKL. It's the WKKL Halloween Bash. October 23rd, Friday night, 6 p.m., and full of costumes and fun. There is no cover charge, so show up and try your hardest to win that coveted costume contest trophy. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, announcing the actual themes. No, wait, hang on, that's not what I meant. The categories, yeah, that's what I meant to say. Okay, you have five chances. Well, actually, no. If you win one, you're kind of in... Okay, I'm just going to jump right ahead and just say what I was going to. Here are the categories. Scariest costume. Most original costume. Funniest costume. Best video game character. And best super villain. Go ahead, throw your hat in the ring, see what happens. I'd love to see you try. No, I really mean that. I'm going to be judging. I would love to see you try. For more information, visit us on Facebook or keep your ear right here to 90.7 WKKL West Barnstable, Cape Cod's only commercial-free alternative music station. Oh, and, um, by the way, I did say this was the Halloween season, right? Let's get spooky. Happy Ghost, come out 